How do thousands of cars and trucks travel across the oceans every day? Roll-roll ships, or roll-on, roll-off ships, are specially designed vessels built to transport wheeled cargo like cars, trucks, and heavy machinery. Depending on the size, these ships have multiple decks accommodating anywhere from a few hundred to thousands of vehicles. Today, we're looking at an example of a large row-row ship, 199 meters long, capable of carrying over 6,000 to 9,000 cars. This model is PCTC, Pure Car and Truck Carriers, which means it carries a variety of vehicles such as cars, trucks, and construction machinery. In the contrary, PCC, Pure Car Carriers, they only transport cars. Let's explore the design of this ship. Roro ships are often box-shaped, maximizing internal cargo space while protecting vehicles from seawater, wind, and salt, which can cause corrosion or damage. The ship is equipped with two loading ramps, one at the side and another at the stern, mostly use the stern ramp. These ramps are operated using winches and cables. During the voyage, these ramps are closed. There are two gangways, one on each side of the ship, providing safe access for the crew, passengers, and visitors to board or disembark. Mooring stations, one at the bow and one at the stern. Ventilation hoods, there are a lot of them. We will explore the ventilation system later. Lifeboats Designated spots for tugs to assist the vessel. From the bridge, this area is visible, while the area below remains a blind spot. The wheelhouse is the primary location where the crew navigates the ship. The accommodation area is where the crew lives and works during the voyage. Located on the top deck, this area includes offices, a meeting room, and bedrooms for senior officers. The captain's cabin is typically positioned directly behind the wheelhouse, allowing quick and easy access in case of emergencies. This area outside marked, winch only, is for a helicopter to haul something or perform rescue operations by winching. It's not a landing spot. Below the top decks are additional crew bedrooms along with essential amenities such as infirmary, gym, food storage, library, galley, dining area, and living spaces. This level also includes rooms dedicated to technical operations and a lot of equipment storage. The CO2 room, where CO2 is stored for fire extinguishing purposes. The emergency generator provides backup power in case of a main power failure. Moving down to the internal structure of the ship, this ship model features 11 cargo decks with some ships utilizing additional space on the top decks to carry even more cargo. There are fixed ramps and movable ramps. If you view the inside without the decks, it will be a giant space. The engine room, main engine, diesel generators, steering gear, fresh water tanks, and many other service tanks engine control room, room for compressors and water treatment system, water ballast tanks, fuel oil tanks. Many modern vessels in general are now powered by LNG instead of heavy fuel oil. LNG is much cleaner for the environment, but it requires reducing some available cargo space. Since every vehicle loaded onto the ship emits exhaust fumes, each deck is equipped with dedicated ventilation ducts to maintain airflow. Each duct is fitted with an axial fan. For example, these ducts supply fresh air to decks 3 and 4.
and these ducts remove the contaminated air. Supply fans, typically located at the fore. Exhaust fans, positioned at the aft. Reversible fans, usually placed from the middle to the aft. Firefighting and escape. Here are the designated fire escape routes. Despite these routes, the tightly packed vehicle cargo makes it difficult to move quickly to an exit during an emergency. Each vehicle carries a small amount of fuel, making them potential fire hazards. For large-scale fire suppression, the ship is equipped with a CO2 pipeline system that distributes CO2 from the top deck. When needed, CO2 is released to suppress fires. Stern and side ramps are operated using winches powered by hydraulic motors. Inside the decks, there are both fixed ramps and movable ramps. Decks 4, 6, and 8 are liftable decks. These decks are divided into multiple panels, which can be lifted using mobile lifter vehicles equipped on board. By raising the deck to the mid-level, the ship can store both cars on the upper section and larger vehicles below. Raising the deck fully to the upper level provides the entire space below for the larger cargo. With its flexible design and massive enclosed decks, a Roro ship could theoretically carry just about anything, even something big and secretive in disguise. But hey, I'm not here to spill secrets, just don't tell anybody. Let's take a closer look at how the loading procedure works. The stern ramp is typically used more frequently than the side ramp because it is bigger and designed to handle heavier loads. Larger vehicles are usually loaded first because they require more space. Smaller vehicles are loaded last. Each car is secure using lashings that are hooked into specially designed holes on the deck floor to keep them stable during the voyage. Cars are packed tightly together to maximize the ship's cargo capacity. After all, it is all about the profit. When loading cargo, proper weight distribution is crucial and must be carefully calculated. Heavy cargo, like trucks or machinery, is typically stored on the middle and lower decks while lighter cargo, such as cars, is placed on the upper decks. Distributing weight evenly throughout the ship is essential to avoid two key issues, trim and list. Trim, which refers to the ship tilting forward or backward in the water. Trim by the bow, trim by the stern. List, which is the ship leaning to one side, listing to port, listing to starboard. To address these issues, water ballast tanks can be used to adjust the ship's balance. However, relying too much on ballast can increase stress on the ship's structure over time. The best practice is to carefully calculate weight distribution before setting sail. Imagine you are a super rich person. You have your own Roro. You live in the penthouse on the top, and your garage below holds 6,000 cars. Pretty sweet, right? Just some wistful thinking. Thank you for watching. If you see that I missed anything, please add it to the comment below. My name is Lucius. I will see you in the next video.